Uh, Alto Ventures, that's ATV, all-terrain vehicle is a symbol. We have, uh, I'll be talking today about uh, our 100% interest in three projects that we have. Our Oxford Lake project, we believe that's, that's our blue sky project with, uh, that can be a real company maker for us. Our Destiny project, which uh, has a, a, a solid resource and sheer hosted gold uh, and a lot of expansion potential. And our Windfall East project, which is in, right now is in one of the hottest camps in Canada, which uh, John alluded to earlier. So Oxford Lake is located in the central Manitoba, and I'll talk about our Destiny and Windfall projects in the Abitibi Belt in Quebec after I tell you about how important and how big banded iron formation gold deposits can be. Here's a couple of examples. Muscle White, owned by Gold Corp, 6 million ounces. 5 million ounces, the Back River deposits owned by Sabina. Uh, these project, these, these uh, iron formation gold deposits uh, are, are large and they have consistent grade. Oxford Lake in Manitoba was discovered by Naranda in 1990. <clears throat> they delineated 150,000 ounces of gold at a grade of 6 grams per ton, true width of 2.5 meters that goes straight down to 700 meters. Very consistent grades and, and depth. <clears throat> we did a modest drill program on this in, in uh, 2012 uh, to test the, the previous drilling. Uh, and then the project got, was, has been hibernated because of the bear market and gold right now, which is changing. What people don't know is that this is the second largest greenstone belt in Canada behind the Abitibi and it's been very poorly explored. Very underexplored, it's been forgotten, but Alto is gonna revive this. So this project is not just one showing that we're drilling. We've got a whole gold district here. We've got 30,000 hectares in uh, mineral exploration licenses. We've got 30 kilometers of iron formation Where's the, uh, from, from the far corner there, to in the east to the west. Okay. Naranda focused just in this one central area. The rusty zone is where they came up with 150,000 ounces and then they moved the drill two kilometers over to test the other mag uh, high target there and came up with the Blue Jay zone just in three holes. They got uh, over 10 grams over two meters. We drilled it uh, in 2012 and we re uh, got six meters, 6.8 meters of 5.7 grams per ton and uh, a number of intercepts that were grading up to 22 grams over half a meter. So. There's a lot of potential on this, uh, on this project. Miranda, where's my, Miranda to the far left corner there drilled one hole on this 30 kilometer target and got a gram over three meters. So uh, the potential here is, is, is enormous, we believe. So the game plan is to get uh, boots on the ground this, this summer do some mapping, prospecting, and, and sampling of the old showings, um, and get prepped for a winter drill program in 2018, this upcoming January. Um, we think that we can very easily move this 150,000 ounce resource to a half a million ounces with this initial drill program. And then from there, subsequent drill programs, we hope to demonstrate that this, this is a deposit of similar stature as, as something like uh, Muscle White, Sabina, Lupin, uh, you, name, you name all the big iron formation gold deposits, Meliodine, Meadowbank. Moving over to Quebec, uh, in the Quebec, uh, in the Quebec, Quebec camp, uh, our destiny project is here. Osisco, uh, in, in just underneath that Osborne Mill, Bell deposit, 
has proposed a, uh, a, a mill complex there. It's only 70 kilometers away from our Destiny Gold project. And then our Windfall East uh, property is 100 kilometers to the east of that proposed Cisco mill. The Destiny is our most advanced gold project. We've got three deposits along a three kilometer trend with gold to 600 meters in depth. Uh, we've delineated a 600,000 ounce open pit uh, resource at, a, at about a gram per ton. We spent about $7 million on this project over the, uh, at, with, and with partners over the past few years. Uh, currently, we're doing an underground resource estimate uh, to see what the high grade potential of this uh, share host of gold deposit is all about. Um, we're seeking partners actually to, to uh, take this project on and build this to plus a million ounces, which we think it certainly has that potential. And there's been recent staking in the area, um, uh, finally recognizing that this is an underexplored uh, major structure in the Abitibi Gold Belt called the Jacobi Fault. And that, uh, the, the orange there, or light orange, is, is the recent staking that's been going on in this camp from Windfall all the way to Destiny. As you can see uh, in the Destiny project there in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, there's been a bunch of claims staked all around us. The Windfall, Windfall East project. Well, this is the hottest camp in Canada right now. As John alluded to earlier, uh, there's been over $100 million raised for exploration in this, in this camp. Um, we have a project sitting right next door to the windfall deposit, to, right adjacent to that deposit. There's been a lot of staking in, in, in the camp uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the district on a number of other trends. Uh, and... If this is the next Timmins camp, we're, we're right on the doorstep. Recent, well, Cisco is, is drilling 400,000 meters this year. And from that drilling this year, just, in the, uh, just been announced in the last couple of months, the Lynx zone down there by that lake uh, was discovered by Osisco. And Osisco has been drilling on that link zone trend to the northeast, clipping the top left corner of our property. There's drill holes by Osisco all the way along that trend. In the old days, we, we drilled this seven years ago, and we drilled in the bottom half uh, of, this, uh, of this property. Um, short holes hitting, hitting some mag, mag high targets. Well, what, what they've, uh, what Osisco has, uh, has told us is from the ex recent exploration is that it's the mag lows that are of interest. And in this area here that has not been drilled, we have a series of parallel mag lows to the link zone trend. And uh, I think that's got a lot of, a lot of huge potential. So why has John uh, picked us as a bottom fish accumulator? Um, Oxford Lake fits his frontier district model. Uh, he likes uh, the Destiny project as a, as a potential uh, option uh, target, and we've had a lot of interest in that from a number of companies. And we're right in the middle of one of the hottest gold plays in Canada at the moment. Uh, myself, I cut my teeth with Canamax Resources. We put three mines into, into production. Uh, two of them are still, in, still producing. Mike Cozio, longtime gold guy in the Canadian Shield, with Cameco Gold, discovered the Altos Destiny project and uh, um, discovered the McElvena Bay Copper Zinc deposit, which Foran owns. Uh, Laurie Curtis has joined our advisory board. Laurie's very well known, has a very good track record for discovery, and a former mining analyst. Uh, he discovered the Back River Iron Formation Gold deposits, and he's a bit of an expert on the, that style of deposit, and I wanted to bring that kind of expertise to the team. So he's agreed to help us out and uh, he, he also is well connected in Toronto to some financing. 40 million shares outstanding. Um, we got $850,000 in, in the money warrants. Uh, our market cap, it's under $5 million. We, we're in the hottest gold play in Canada. 
We have 600,000 ounces of gold in the ground that has potential to go to a million. And we also have a, a grassroots frontier district scale gold project in, in Oxford Lake in Manitoba that could grow to five million ounces. So I, I, think, I think the potential is very good uh, for investors here. And what we're doing, I believe, is we're skating to where the puck is going to be. We're not going to be going to where the puck is now. So in a year or two, uh, our investors are going to be very, very happy. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. And